Hello friends, today we are working on um, lesson 2.4 and we are doing the first part to the lab. So the first part to the lab is actually just a improvement on our previous one, uh, previous lab that we did on lesson 2.3, uh, part 2, you can watch my video, but we are basically declaring 10 prizes, a user will pick a number and then we'll print a prize associated with the number that a user picked. So the first thing we want to do is we want to create a list of prizes. Now to create a list of prizes, and to do it in a smart way, we're gonna create a list. And a list in Python is simply a list of values, right? In the case of these prizes, since they are gonna be uh, prizes that someone would be interested in, we're gonna make them strings and we're gonna detail out what they are. And to do that, you simply just put the quotation marks separated by commas. And of course you could do numbers if you wanted to, but in this case, we're simply going to do um, quotation marks and you can see I'm going to look down and make sure I type right properly on my keyboard. So here I've created five entries in my list. I'm going to copy all of these strings right here. I'm going to go ahead and click copy and then I'm going to put this and extend it. And now you see I have 10 entries in my prize list and I can name these entries whatever I want. Here I'm just going to name them um, something simple. I'll name this one prize. Uh, you know, I won't name it prize one. How about we name them, you know, the actual thing. So this one will be a car, this one will be maybe like a ball or something and so on and so on. So um, here it's gonna be, you're gonna get a mirror, you're gonna get a box, you're gonna get a coin, gold and so on and so on. So I'm gonna go ahead and leave these last ones blank because of course you get the point. We have a corresponding item with each index in the list. Now the thing that we'll see in just a minute and what I can demonstrate right now is that if I really want to, I can show you how this list works because I can just print out any section of the prize list that I want. So here I'm gonna print out the very first item in the prize list, which if you know anything about lists inside of Python, lists will always start with the index of zero, right? So here I'm gonna go ahead and click play. It's gonna ask me what my number is. I'm just gonna put in a random number like 100 or 1000. And then I have this print prize list right here that you can see printed out on this line. And it's gonna print out that zeroth component. So what we're gonna do for our if statements, we're gonna say, hey, for each uh, number that the user is picking, we're basically gonna say, hey, you got that, but then we're also going to print out the prize list slightly differently from what we did before. So here, I'll go ahead and delete that. And then I'm going to actually just take the code that I have in my very last um, lesson, which is, if user number equals one. So here we're gonna say if user number is equal to one. And then what are we gonna do? We're not gonna do lookup error. We're going to print. Um, we're gonna say, congrats, you have one A. And then here we're going to put a plus button and we're gonna say, we wanna call the prize list, prize list list item that corresponds with the number that we've chosen. So here I'm going to go to prize list and then I'm going to put down the uh, user number because that's the index that we want to use. Again, you saw that print statement earlier. I said print statement zero um, for prize list item zero because of course that's the first thing here for the user number. We want to make sure that we're selecting the user number, but since we need to translate that into array format, we need to take user number minus one because if they choose the first item in a list, they're actually choosing the zeroth item in the list. The user just doesn't know that, right? That's something that we don't really find important enough to tell them. So here I'm gonna say that we are going to give them user number minus one. And I basically am gonna take my code and I'm going to um, repeat that. And then this time I'm gonna do an elif, I'm gonna do two, and then I'm going to take everything I have right here and hit copy, and actually, you know what? I'm just gonna do that once, hit back, then I copy everything right here. And you can see I can just copy that down all the way. For the sake of time, of course, for you, I'm just gonna show you what I would do. Um, just going all the way down to five, six, seven, and eight. And uh, here what we're gonna do is we're gonna say if the user number is equal to one, we're gonna print out the user number minus one. So the zeroth list item, the second, or I'm sorry, the first list item, which of course in an index would be the quote unquote second. And we'll see that happen right now. So if I go ahead and click play, it'll ask me what my number is. Now, if I hit three, go ahead and ask yourself real quick, what 
a prizeless number am I gonna am I gonna show? What actual item am I gonna win? So if I hit three and click enter, I get a mirror because that is a third part. And that is because I selected the three minus one index and prize list, which is going to be the second array item, which of course the quote unquote uh, second array item is actually the third part of the list. Um, of course, the list we always index though. We always start on zero. And thank you guys very much for joining in on part one of lesson 2.4. Please pay attention and tune in for part two as well, which I think is going to be a little bit more challenging, but I think we're ready for it.